Hey everyone and welcome back to another keto mukbang. Tonight I'm enjoying a juicy grilled steak that the hubby cooked and homemade bacon and cheese macaroni. Hello everyone and welcome. So good to see each and every one of you. I'm excited about this dinner. My husband actually grilled this steak. It's absolutely perfect. It's medium well. I love it that way. It's got the little bit of pink in it. It's juicy. Look at all the juice on that plate. Look at that. Yum. And I've made homemade macaroni and cheese with bacon bits. Super excited about this. Now real quick, I just used those smart noodles that I've used before and showed you guys. Um, I put one full pack in a pan. I um, cut the noodles with a uh, kitchen scissors because I wanted them to be smaller pieces because they were the fettuccine. So I cut them in small pieces, put it into a cake pan, just a smaller cake pan, and then I added one cup of mozzarella cheese. I added a half a bag of the bacon bits on the bottom, then a little bit on top, and also a fourth cup of cheddar cheese mixed in there too, and then topped it off at the end with Parmesan cheese. So that's the side that I'm introducing into this meal for keto. And it would only be uh, with the cheese. It would only be the cheese because there's nothing in the bacon or the noodles. So it would just be one, two, three, four. It'd be like for the whole entire pan, I think it was six carbs. So I've got like three carbs here and I'm drinking it with diet. Um, what am I having? Diet root beer tonight. Yum. Super excited. And then because um, I did take half the pan, me and my husband are splitting it. So I have half the pan here. And like I said, the whole pan would have been, because if one cup is one, two, three, four, and then the other cheese five. So it's actually five. So it's only like two and a half carbs I have here. So that's just incredible. So I'm going to add some of the steak sauce I found. It's called, it's by Essential Every Day. I get it at Festival Foods. I'm sure you can get it at other places. But it's Steakhouse Marinade with uh, the Worcestershire. Warchest, that's so hard to say that sauce. I'm super excited about this. It is only two carbs for a tablespoon. It's hard to find a steak sauce that you can have that's low in carb. So this one is two for one tablespoon, just one. So this steak looks pretty good, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of this to the side to dip it. So I'm just gonna have a little bit on the side here, about a tablespoon there. Cause I only have like two carbs with my meal here. So with that, that's two more carbs. <laughs> so not very much. Yum, I am excited. Let's try this macaroni first. Like I said, I did cut the noodles just because they're, um, the noodles are so long because I got the fettuccine one. I haven't found the macaroni yet. I haven't been to other stores to get it. I always get this at the store my son works at. But look at that. They're cut into nice bite-sized pizzas. That's just the cheese. And it's got like bacon bits, like I said, with dripping. Um, the mozzarella cheese, the cheddar cheese, and the uh, little bacon bits, yum. And oh, and butter. I put butter through it too. Yum. Homemade macaroni and cheese. Oh my gosh, with the bacon bits, it's so yummy. You people out there that have not tried these noodles yet, you've got to try them. Yum. Now let's try this delicious steak that my husband made. You can just see all the juice on this plate. Oh my God, I hope you guys can see that. Look at that. And he cooks it perfectly, a little bit of pink inside. Let's dip it in the sauce. I've never tried this sauce. Oh, that sauce is good. It almost tastes like A1. Mmm, that's really good. A1 um, has got a lot more carbs. We can't have A1. Mmm. Oh my God, this does taste like that good old fashioned homemade macaroni and cheese that you bake in the oven. Oh, and then having it with ice cold root beer. Yum. You gonna eat, baby? 
I think so. You made the steak perfect. I have some of the sauce. It's really good. It almost tastes like A1. I know. I'm one of the best. Maybe the best. Mm -hmm. Do your steak good, everybody. <laughs> but yeah, he did this perfectly. And I cut it because I just wanted you guys to see the inside of it. So it just wouldn't be so much cutting for me while I'm doing my mukbang. So I cut it already for me. Oh, look at that with the sauce. Yum. Haven't had a steak in a long time. It tastes, um, like, it tastes like we went to Outback or something. I know. It's absolutely delicious. And I wanted a steak because I've been doing so good. I did that seven-day challenge, and then I've continued to keep my fat really low. So I said, you know what? It's my outfit of the day, as you guys see. And I usually do the cooking, but tonight my husband, he did it. Um, I did the macaroni. He did the steak. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to something good. I'm going to do a dirty keto. Even though I'm in maintenance mode, I have switched right now and I'm trying to lose a little bit more weight. So I'm doing a dirty keto. Oh, he's giving Minnie a piece. He's giving our dog a piece of steak. <laughs> she just loves it. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're silly. Isn't this macaroni good? Yeah. Look at all that cheese, you guys. Oh my gosh, yum. You'll see at the end, I did a slideshow showing you how to make it. It's so easy. But that way you know I actually used um, three pads of butter and the cheese and that. So it is a really heavy fat right here with that steak. This is a very big heavy fat dinner, but I'm having a dirty keto because it's really low carb. And for breakfast, I just had a little bit of chicken salad. So I haven't had hardly anything today. So I'm having a good, delicious, heavy fat dinner tonight. It's so weird to be able to have noodles. And I'm not doing a movie tonight because my husband's watching preseason. He's a huge football fan. So he's watching preseason. So he has it on mute right now because it's on the commercial. So if you That's hear right. that. Minnesota Vikings against Tennessee Titans. He loves his Vikings. I can't eat any kind of meat with fat on it. So even with steak, man, I got to take that off. I just can't do it. <laughs> Yum. It's really warm in here, honey. Would you open the windows? I closed them because I was doing my um, outfit of the day video and David was going by with the lawnmower. So it was really loud, so I closed it. But I'm getting really warm right now because I've been cooking in the kitchen. So I'm getting warm. Even though the weather here isn't too bad, it was only like 72 today. Perfect weather, but when you don't have the windows closed, it's hot. Mmm. There's that breeze. That feels good. Get my napkin here. I just wanted to wipe off a little bit. Don't you want any sauce, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Apologize, I have to take the fat off you guys. I hate the fat. Many will take the fat. Yeah, but that's not really good even for her, for a dog. She'll get a tummy ache. My dog throws up really easy. She, like, will eat anything, but she throws up so easy. The next day she throws up. But she is only four pounds. She's got a tiny little tummy. I don't like to give her a lot of human food. You're not supposed to really give dogs human food, so I really don't, but... This is so yummy. Apologize, I don't mean to do that, you guys. Sorry. Yum. I'm always trying to find different ways to do these noodles, too, because I love them. And they are six carb, six fiber, so there you are, zero carb. And it's good to have that fiber. What a dinner. What a treat. Also having that pop because I've just been drinking water. I like the noodles cut like that. And I didn't do any boiling because remember when you get these noodles, they're already in a bag of like water. They're already cooked. 
Basically, all you're doing is heating them up. A lot of you guys end up boiling them because that's what it says to do. Don't boil them because it makes them more rubbery. So don't boil them. Just fry them up in a pan or like I did, bake them in the oven. And you don't got to bake them long. It was like 15 minutes to make this. In a pan, it would just be a couple minutes. You'd fry them up if you want to cook it with something. Just fry them up if you're making butter noodles or like the dishes I've done. I just um, put them in a fry pan real quick and just mix them around. No water, um, whatever. You could put a little bit of oil on it, however you're making them, the sauce like I've done. But don't. My brother, even Robbie, said to do this. Do not boil them because it makes them more rubbery. I know I did the first time, and they did. They were really rubbery to me, and I'm like, what the heck? And I've heard people say that, that they are. They are if you boil them. And that's what it says to how to cook them, but you don't have to because they are cooked already. Oh, my God, look at that. All the bacon bits and the cheese, yum. Oh, this is so good. I'm getting so full though because I've been eating so low of fat that this is really filling me up. Nothing like a grilled steak. We're trying to get a few more grilled, you know, grilled days in because our weather is changing. We're getting into the fall and you won't be grilling much when it's cold out. We live in a state with four seasons, so we don't get a lot of... Uh, Nice weather for a long period of time. Did you just say four seasons? I've been working mm. my way back to you, <laughs> babe, with a burning love inside. <laughs> hey, you said it. Mm. You're like, we can go upstairs now. <laughs> Yum. This really, really tastes like real homemade macaroni and cheese. I just can't believe how good it is. Mmm. Those noodles are so good. I did put a little bit of salt and pepper on it to taste through the pan before I, you know, baked it. So. Mmm. I got a few pieces here, but I am so full. <clears throat> yeah, that steak was so super good. Did you tell me get it at Aldi's? Ribeye. Aldi special. Rib and eye. it was uh, ribeye. $9.99 a pound. And let me tell you, it's like the best steak I've had in years. And it now was a, um, um, one of those uh, Twin uh, organic. So it doesn't have all the preservatives. Grass fed. Grass fed, that's what I mean, grass fed animal. Delta steroid injections and all the crap they do to the animals, right? Mmm. So good. Yummy. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna hold off on that because man, I am full. This is just a little bit of fat here, but I got a little bit left. I'll just save it for later, but. Oh, it was so good. Like my husband said, it was absolutely delicious. The macaroni was delicious. Definitely try that out. The recipe will be a little slideshow after this. Try it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification so you don't miss any videos. I do have a second channel down in the box, Angels Heavenly Nails, where I load just nails, toes, and outfits of the day. I also load them in here, but I'm trying to grow that channel. So once that channel's big enough, then this will only be keto. So anyways, thanks a lot for all you guys' love and support. And if you loved this video, shoot me a thumbs up. There's my hubby, say goodbye to him. <laughs> and if you have any questions, I'd love to hear your comments down in my box. Love you guys very much. God bless, take care, and remember to always keep it keto. <laughs>